Hello everyone and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 9 of my Minecraft survival series and one not 30 not so last episode we managed to destroy and kill the dragon. This episode we are going into the end and the abyss to go and find ourselves some lovely Elytra so we can fly around. So far this is what my inventory looks like, got plenty of rockets flying around, my bits there. But then I've got bits and bobs in here for my planning is once I get out into the end, I am going to make shelter boxes. Once I get shelter boxes and store all my stuff in there, I'm planning to be out there for quite some long time and get a few elytras and that there. If I want to go out there, I've got myself a lovely silk pickaxe as well, so I can constantly move around my lovely ender chest. I've got four feather falling three on my boots, not the best and not really the best protection in that there, but we'll see what happens. Doesn't worry me if I die now. It's, it still worries me quite a bit if I die. But anyway, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make our way through the lovely portal. So I'm just going to... I'll eventually make out, make the lovely farm out over there. How high are we over this side? Yeah, in episode 10, we're going to be building our lovely XP farm. So then as soon as we get the XP farm up and running, we can then start working on getting some better tools and all that there. I'm also in the works of trying to get the lovely thing up and running. I don't know what the thing is called right now. I've just gone blank for it. It is called OBS. OBS is what I used to use to record, or I'm looking for some other recording software so my voice sounds a little bit more better, because what the recording software I'm using now is, yeah, it's not the best because it also gives bad, the audio sounds quite terrible. So, we're about to go to this portal. It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? There we go, over here. So, what we need to do is, I might just get a couple... Uh, one enderpearl should be enough to get through anyway. What we need to do is go through and chuck an enderpearl through here, and we'll get sent out far away into our lovely island. It'd be amazing if I just get out the other side and there is is another... What's, 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 what's his name? A nether thing. A nether, not nether, they're called, um, um, they're called in fortresses, aren't they? Is that what they're called? I'm not exactly sure what their names are. In cities, that's their name, there we go. Okay, let's just quickly just jump up and get this here done. Of course you're not going to want me to do it, are you? Okay, I'll be back once I get this ladder thing done. Okay everyone, I've got a lovely little safe little room here, I'm going to call it, just because I'm pretty sure when you come back through these portals you get pushed out here, so I don't want to fall to my death. And a bit of safety behind there so I can get through. Remote gateway, please do not fall into the end. I hate... Um... <gasps> okay, let's go function F3 and take a screenshot of that there in case I need to get back. And... Oh, there's another one just over there anyway. So let's first off, let's get ourselves a few ender pearls just so we can get jump from island to island. We do is create a little platform as you've seen me make before, the height that endermen cannot get you at. Just go down and you take off your helmet and feel them destroy you. Very simple. I'll be back once again about a stack and a bit of the ender pearls. Okay, people have. Okay, I've got a few ender pearls here. So to help myself in the end, I always normally just turn up my render distance just a little bit more because there's not as much stuff, but it still causes a bit of a strain for some reason on this computer. I think I might have done something to it that's like overheated it or something, so it doesn't process the game as well as what it used to be. Used to do. So used to be able to do this and OBS perfectly fine, but now it just doesn't want to do any of that. I'm assuming it could be just the update 
of the it could be just the update of Minecraft or it could be the update of OBS I'm not exactly sure or I've just wrecked the computer so I'm gonna head I think in a southward fashion to see if I can come across any lovely in cities so yeah last episode was fun I'm not sure yeah fun filming that there getting dying quite a few times yeah not exactly sure I do, yeah, I died. I, I died quite a bit. But I'm quite happy of how that turned out. So anyway, I'm going to just probably find the easiest way to get across. Like, the island ends here. And, yeah, I've got plenty of food and supplies. And I've got my helmets on now, so they shouldn't come after me. But, yeah, in the end, I don't know if there's a special way to find lots of end cities or not. All I do is just pretty much jump and run around in a fashion where I can get from big island to big island very easily. Which is all I normally do. So what I'm just going to do is I'm probably just going to jump up and down and around like a crazy person on a lonely world by myself. And see if I can find an end city. If I do find one, I will come back. Well, well I'll, I'll come back to you guys if I find something anyway. I might actually do what I did a few times ago, a few episodes ago, I'm not sure if I did, is insert a little SpongeBob bit telling me how, telling you guys how long it took me to find a lovely end city with that huge lag spike that's right there. That was, that was quite tremendous, that there. Frames dropped down quite a bit. So yeah, I will see you guys in like a split second. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to find an end city. Okay, people, it's, it's only been a couple seconds, I'm not going to probably, well, yeah, it's been a couple seconds, as Spongebob just said, maybe, or moments, I'm not sure if I'm going to enter them, and I was just walking from over this way here, the easiest way, I haven't jumped anyway, and I've already found a massive end city, look, look at the size of that thing, so all I have to do is get over there, that's the only problem which I hate doing, and now that I've got no one to bug me, I'm not, I might turn down my reading the distance a bit so I'm not laying out as much so yeah I'm going to go across and quickly pillow across there and I'll see you guys once I get closer to the end city ok people we are now over at the lovely temple over here I mean the lovely end city so I'm just going to quickly top up my supplies so I can get around a little more easier and if you're wondering what the, what the slabs are for they are for well to help me pretty much get up and down through the building you'll see you'll soon see why so I've got my coordinates written down in case I die which there is a likelihood that I will die it doesn't take that much effort to die really in this game let's see if I can get my first shulker shell just wait for them to open and fire away oops because as soon as they yeah they just make you bounce off and then three two one you should come on open up good little shulker Open up, see who can die. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, there we go, good boy. Did you drop anything? No, nope, just a little bit of XP. No. So what I need to do is I need to actually give myself my lovely defendant there because I know that I could, there's a chance that I could also get the levitating potions that they have, which I... You're not supposed to teleport when you... I hate these little levitation potions. Oh, great. Oops, I did not... Great, great start. It definitely wants this to happen. Get over here. Drop me down, please. Let's just kill this guy off. Nothing yet. Come on, it's not fair. Okay, surely got someone down here. I want to try and kill them off as I go around. Nothing. Oh. Fun. This is really good. Try and get through here, and the best way that you do is you go up here, right? 
and then you place your slab, jump up, place your slab, and you can easily walk around inside this building here. And quickly run up here. First shulker shell, perfect. Oh, I've got the, this. So they should be fighting each other for a little while now. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me get you that shell, thank you. Now let me float up here. Let's just quickly place this down here, here, here. Yeah, as you can see, my little method of getting around. It's just quite, quite makes you a lot more quicker to walk around as well. Oh, okay, this is not... I don't even notice it was a big room. Let's just seal off our little bit there so it's not as deadly. The thing is, you do not want to get into this room because you can die very, very quickly. So let them kill themselves in there. And simple, yes, yeah, so let them just shoot up. As you can hear them teleporting all around now. It's just a mess, this room. Now I'm just going to speed this up while I get them killed. Okay, people, I have now entered the room here. So I'm just going to float up gently, place down some water, so when you fall, you do not take too much damage. And I'm going to quickly run over and grab that shulker shell there. Now where is this other guy? Come on, open up. Don't be shy. I want to get rid of you. Please open up. Come on. Come on, stop. Oh, sneaky bugger. Let's just go up and hit him. There we go, he might like that. Keep the health up and... Uh, why do you have to teleport for? That's a, it's a pain. Oh, yeah, I forgot about loot that's up here. wonder if there's anything good in these chests. Protection, a couple diamonds. Yeah, that that's okay, I suppose. Now, where is that ship? Okay, so the ship is over there. That's what I mainly want to get to. Oops, let's just quickly get in here. Let's get rid of you. Come on, let this levitation fall off. Surely I can reflect that. Perfect, another shell. And the end ship was this way, wasn't it? Not the best place to go across to. Let's just end a pearl over there. Beautifully done. Now, let's just seal ourselves in here because this is another deadly room. This is my method of surviving and not dying. There's actually some decent stuff in here. Let's just quickly get our chest and put our stuff in there. Uh, um, one, two, three, four. I think that's enough wood, I believe. So go up here, and this is this is my my tactic of trying to survive being in here. Oops, that goes down. Place that there, and then you place yourself a lovely chest. And when you get that chest, you place your chest down, and you make your lovely shulker box. So that shulker box, then you can just fill up with all the stuff you get in here, all your lovely loot. And then it can be easily stored inside your your chest. So you can quickly mine away that there as well. And prevents things from getting too messy. Just put that in there. Top up our stuff, which we need to constantly remember to do. Because you're not going to get in trouble and get ourselves some more bow. Is this an infinity knots? It's that one. Now I just try and sneak over, oops, 
minion boots, okay. Damn it. Where's that guy gold? Yeah. Get back over here, get back over here and seal up this area. I don't want to die yet. That's a bit pathetic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill all these guys and I'll be back with you guys very shortly. Okay, people, I am getting closer and closer to getting at my lovely first Elytra. And that is going to be perfect because I actually, this is probably the quickest time I've actually ever managed getting an Elytra in a game of Minecraft. And I've only really gotten two elytras in my in the last well really I've only killed the dragon t three four times in this game because mainly I normally just play on a server and you don't normally go and kill the dragon or if you do kill the dragon you're killing of other people but yeah that's really the first time I've done this all legit I could call it because most times as stated I've pretty much just gone and done it on a server so that does remove a little bit of the fun out of the game let's get this potion stand here as well and let's go and see if we've got yep we've got another one of those there and before I go down underneath and get my first elytra let's just see if I can get this lovely dragon head as memorability on the front of a ship I might make this a talky one eventually and now let's break down and get ourselves our lovely, well-deserved... There we go, perfect, and now we've got Elytra. Perfect, and now we can go through and fly through the sky. That's pretty slack stuff in there as well. Let's, 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 just, let's just take it anyway. Okay, people, so yeah, I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be, really. But now they've got down the elytra, let's just quickly do some inventory management. There we go, people. That looks a much more nice and tidy. Now let's just get rid of that there. And then let's get rid of our crafting table as well. I should go there. And since we've got some ender pearls, we've got our lovely elytra on. I want to try and locate another elytra very shortly. But first off, I want to test out that this works. And hopefully I don't die. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful being able to fly around. I love it. Oh, that feels so good, just being able to fly around and just do that very simply. Let's just head over here. Actually, let's head down and kill this one off. Oh, shoot, there's two of you. Now that I've just killed off those two there, I think with my, my shulkers I might get a better looting sword eventually. And then once we kill... Oh! <laughs> once we manage to kill a little bit more... Um, what am I saying? Once I manage to kill a bit more, I might make a storage system f out for our lovely... Oops, that was a mistake. Uh, making it there teleport. I want to make a storage system for our food. Not for our food, for our... Come on, buddy, get the name correct. Um, for our mob drops, that's what I want to do. I want to create a, a good storage system for that there, because it should be quite good. And we'll... How many of you guys are in here? Let's just kill you off. Yeah, because I want to make a, a quick, quick big story system. So I'm going to go ahead and kill off a lot more of these mobs in here. And I'll see you guys in a second. Well, I've just increased the render distance of my game. And hopefully I do not lag out. But now it is time to fly in a direction. And try and find myself another couple of elytras. Because there's always a chance I'm just going to 
gear that is always a chance I'm going to die and lose it and I want to at least have a couple spear just in case is this no, as long as an island loads in I need to keep an eye on my elytra as well because I do not want to fall from the sky because it would be a sucky way to really die wouldn't it so yeah I'm going to fly around quickly and see if I can find myself another in city see you guys very soon ladies and gentlemen after about 20 minutes I found another one but there's no ship ok people after quite a long time I've now managed to locate another in city please have a ship on it it doesn't have a ship on it I'm in, I'm in trouble because I've got I'm pretty much out of a light jet. This could be the same one I come across. No, it's not because I'm in a different different location. But yeah, I'm get my light just getting very thin now. I really really need to find one. I don't know what to do. Go I'll fly over to this big island and continue looking. Okay, people, I've just spotted a lovely in city in the distance here. Hopefully this one here has an end ship. So my plan at this stage is just to get a couple... Oh, this is, looks like a big city. Is I want to get a couple more elytras. So I want to have at least three pairs of elytras before I go back home. So as soon as I get this one... Oh yeah, this one's got a ship this good. So as soon as I get myself a second elytra, I'm pretty much just going to go off camera and get another couple. And then I'll go back home and we can build a little mini farm. Or a micro farm with all the gun... Uh, with all the bone meal and that there's going to be the episode for today in episode 10 we will be building a lovely as soon as I can take off hang on in episode 10 we will be building a lovely XP farm so we've got oh no please do not let me die now because I'll be what the city of an end game what I've already discovered one before I don't know why it didn't activate last time weird okay so there we go got our second elytra for today that is perfect got some decent equipment in there another unbreaking three pick that is beautiful i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna raid this city here and i will see you guys back at the base okay everyone we are now back at the base just place some items there and now i've got a lovely group of phantoms that think they can come and kill me go away oh lovely uh phantom memory beautiful now where are you now my plan now is just to quickly go afk for a little while and then i'll be back and we can start working on our lovely what would i what would i call it our lovely uh mini farm thing which will be starting very very shortly let's quickly go to sleep and i'll do a quick fly around our base and see what it looks like and how beautiful it looks like from the sky Yep, got plenty of stuff on. Let's do a little fly up. Oh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Okay, it's easy to fly up to this platform now, which is good. And get around everywhere. Oh, yeah. So we've got a little island out here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. We've also got a little line here. We've got a little island over in this direction here as well. With some trees which aren't loading in. We've also got some more. This game does not like me flying, does it? Another little tiny island here. Another island over here for our base. And I was going to say, what is that? It's a city book just there. So yeah, this is what the base is going to look. Yeah, it's going to look pretty good. The game does not like me flying around, does it? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to gather some resources. Oh, yeah. One more thing I need to show you guys. Uh, this is what we managed to get when I was out there. Some lovely displays here. We're going to improve my armor eventually as well. Two dragons here. I only got two elytra. My second one is there. Just uh, my junk. And then a whole lot of re resources as well. Now my aim is to get this inventory all filled up with shelter boxes. All dedicated to different things. And that they will be perfect. And then, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready for our little mini farm. See you in a split second again. Okay everyone, it's now time to build the farm. I've never actually built this farm before, so just bear with me bear with me if I go if I'm a little bit slow, but what we have to do for this farm is we have to go place a dispenser there, a dispenser not not like I d I don't want that place or that there. 
And yes, I'm building this farm here. It's only going to be a temporary farm anyway. So I'm going to get rid of that there. Place up some temporary blocks up there. And place down our other dispenser there. Now you go up and go behind and you place down an observer here. And then an observer face, have it with its face facing up. So I'm assuming you just dig down like this here. Place a temporary block and place it like... Is it, that's not an observer. Place it like that there. Now you go along underneath and you place down double bits of bricks here, whatever you call them. Face, facing along. Then on the end one, you then place a lovely sticky piston. And then I'm placing some more slabs in here. Then you go ahead and you place... Well, I'm just going to cover up this gap here. You place in your block here. And then you place in all your redstone. Going down. Very, very simple. Then you hoe your grass. Hoe your dirt. Oh, 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 oops, I didn't mean to see that. Get rid of that there. And then place it up like that there and hoe your grass. Then you go ahead and you craft up your bow meal. I'm just going to put three stacks in each one of these. Nice and simple. And I'm hoping this is going to go first go. If not, I'm going to have to go through and watch the tutorial video again. Oh, it's up top, isn't it? One, two, three, and you just place down your grass. Um, maybe if I go on an angle. That there sounds like it's working to me. A lovely clicking noise there. Just clicking away. Beautiful. So this appears to be working perfectly fine to me. A very loud contraption if you can hear my voice over it. Because I certainly cannot even hear myself talking of how this goes. That sounds pretty good to me. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm pretty much just going to do... Oh, food's in here, don't I, somewhere? Surely I've got... Okay, let's test it out with one potato. And see if this works. Let's just quickly eat some potatoes first and test it out. This seems very, very fast to me. This seems good enough because I was going to build a villager farm. Or Mac Village of Power Palm, but that could be in the future anyway. I just need a safe, suitable food source for now. And I think this is going to be it. So to keep this nice and topped up, I thought I'm going to go... Oh, I don't want you to go up there. I need to like add in some extra storage. So I thought I'd go ahead and add in a couple chests going along up here. And then all you do is simply add in your bow meal. Which is quite simple and really easy to do. And that means that it should keep your dispensers in theory completely topped up while you go ahead and pick up and get all your stuff done. If that's going to work, if you can reach in that far, that's the only problem with this farm. It might work, maybe. So while it's clicking along, then as soon as it turns off, you maybe. Dig a little hole going down. Is that clicks on my stuff? Okay, yeah, perfect. Done. Okay, just got in the rhythm there. Getting all that stuff there. Hop down and I get all my stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode of Minecraft. It was episode 9 and in episode 10 we will be working on the lovely Enderman farm. That's what my plan is. And also, yeah, it should be a fun episode doing that one there. So between now and episode 10, I'm going to be gathering some resources, getting all the stuff ready for that farm. So yeah, between now and then, I'm going to be working on a few things, getting some more resources, doing a whole lot of mining, especially thanks to my lovely, whoops, shulker shells. Shulker, shulker shells that we got this episode. I'll go ahead and I'm going to do like a big mass mining and fall them up. And also get some stuff on our lights. Plus, plus get the item sorter fixed up and sorted because... Right, what are you doing in here, Creeper? How did you get in here, Creeper? You should not be in here. Bad Creeper. Um, yeah, I need to get this sorted up because half of these aren't even hooked up yet. And get this side here all sorted out. 
So yeah, let's end it off in here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and yeah, thanks for watching. You can be my new thing.